welcome to Gen vs Tech Tutorial. In my earlier video, I've reviewed the Logitech G Pro X headset. And in that tutorial, I've also mentioned about the Logitech G Hub companion software. Today, we'll do a walkthrough of that application and its uses, and also how I do my configuration and all the settings that I do with it. But before we start, remember to press the like button and subscribe. This helps me grow this channel. Now, let's get to it. But the first thing that we need to do is to install the software. The application can be downloaded directly from the Logitech website. I'll put the link in the description. Once you install the application, you can open that from the application tray. Now, once you open the application, you'll be presented with the devices that you've already attached in your PC. So on this case, we'll open up the Logitech G Pro X headset. Now, there are three sections in this application one for the microphone, one for the EQ, and one for the acoustics. So, but there's also another setting here at the upper right, which you'll see here. This is uh, to enable the hardware noise reduction. So there's a, a hardware noise reduction and as well as a noise reduction from the software. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit later. So the first thing, first thing that we need to talk about is the acoustics. So acoustics is the surround configuration of your headset. In my preference and in my liking, I usually put this as disabled only because most of the surround sound I've already, I already get from the, from the game itself. Um, and in my opinion, it sounds very unnatural. So I'd rather keep this disabled, but uh, for the intent of this tutorial, you can, I'll let it, uh, I'll show it to you. So once you enable it, you have different settings for different sites. So since this is a 7.1 surround sound, you have different options for different areas. So, and there are different settings as well. So again, it will be up to you. And there's also a DTS super stereo mode setting over here. So you can play around it, whatever you prefer, but I usually turn it off. The second part that I'm going to talk about is the equalizer. Now for the equalizer, I usually like to do it as I usually put it, I usually get a preset coming from here or you can browse preset which are uploaded presets from the internet. So you can search for a preset from somebody who already made one, which you can download uh, to your Logitech G Hub and take it with you. But for me, I usually just use the London Spitfire Profit, but I did a little tweak on it. So only because I like the settings of uh, how he made his EQ. But again, you can you can play around with it uh, as much as you want. So once you once you once you have the settings that you prefer, the the way that you can carry that with you wherever you go, because to be quite honest, this headset is very flat. Like it's one of the most boring headset sound you'll ever hear if you try not to do anything with the EQ. So I usually I usually try to pump up the mids a little bit so that I can hear a little bit of oomph, especially if you're playing video games. So in my settings, I usually configure it this way. Uh, there's a difference between London Spitfire. So as you can see, he actually has his lower mids a little bit lower. Uh, for me, I put it a little bit higher and so as the trebles and the lower trebles and the higher trebles. Uh, once you have that, um, I usually save it to the DAC, which you can then carry with you. So I spoke about earlier on the earlier video that you can carry that setting with you. So I have to correct myself. You can carry only the headset EQ, but not the mic. So once you have that, you can actually save that to your DAC. So once you, for example, in here, you can click this and you can then carry that settings wherever you go. So once you save that to your DAC, it, you should be good to go. Now, we'll talk about the microphone. So there's a lot of things going on in here. So 
first thing that we need to do first of course is you need to make sure that you enable the blue voice option else you'll sound like this you'll sound horrible it sounds like i don't know it doesn't have a lot of life in it so once you enable the blue voice software there's a lot of things going on so again i use the london uh, spitfire prophet but i've actually tweaked it uh in a way that i would prefer it so but you also have different different sounds like uh like this or like this there are a lot of different options and of course you can browse again from the internet whatever you prefer so again I, i'd use the london spitfire um profit settings and then i tweak it a little bit um so i enabled the high pass filter uh the deesser the compressor the limiter expander this is a lot of things and uh to be honest and I i'd usually just choose a a preset and then tweak that from uh from my own liking like i i choose something that's very close to my liking and then just tweak it rather than start from scratch but then again it's up to you so you can also do a quick test with the headset so for example in here i'll we'll do a quick test test one two three sample one two three then you can play that settings test one two three sample one two three test one two three sample one two three all right sounds horrible all right so um so yeah and then once you once you made the changes you can click on save as so that that's pretty much it and the best thing about this headset and especially with the companion application is that you can have uh different settings for different applications so for example you have multiple games that you play but you want to sound and feel or maybe um make the sound a little bit different from one game to another so there are multiple preferences or multiple uh, presets that you can use this application with um, which is a good touch by logitech so um there's a lot of hate coming from um other people with regards to this headset that it's not as good as the other headsets y you guys do some of the some of the people do have to realize that this is actually one whole suite so if you try to buy this headset and expect something extravagant you're, you're gonna be disappointed unless you can figure the headset itself so is it good it's actually quite good i actually have a fan running on my left side it's actually quite loud you can't hear it this is amazing especially if you're playing um if you're playing in a place that has a lot of noise let's say you have a very loud air conditioner or a very loud fan like what i have or maybe a very loud pc this is actually a very good headset because the problem with some with some setup like for example for my blue yeti it becomes very different because it picks up the sound from that from that piece of device unless if you have a chain of signals that you actually use to eliminate that sound you can't do anything much about it but this application just this device and this application just nails it and i love this because of that purpose and i don't use it professionally but if you ask me you can especially if you're gonna do podcasting or if you're gonna do tutorial like this one is it something i would prefer for especially if you're an audiophile so that's something you need to consider but this is also a good monitoring headset so i use this sometimes for mixing and stuff so it's actually quite good so you you guys might want to check it out i don't know it depends on what you guys prefer hey guys thank you very much for watching if you like what you see press that like button and hit subscribe this helps me motivated in creating contents like this one until then take care and i'll see you in the next one take it easy